Glory 55 will be my 25th Glory event, the 50th show that I've called. And of all the matches I've been fortunate enough to be ringside for, one of the most shocking moments was when Elvis Gashi knocked out Josh Chauncey, the fifth ranked lightweight in the world. No one gave Gashi a chance. He was a nobody, a late addition, and he stung the kickboxing world. And since then, he's been a beast, unstoppable. This guy is headed for a world title shot, but he has to take one fight at a time. He's got Nick Chastain this Friday night at Madison Square Garden, and Gashi promises another knockout, and if he can get it, he's gonna be one of the top contenders in the world for a world title shot. Maybe one more fight, or after this fight, give me a title shot, I'm ready. I'm Primo Bellarosa, I'm trainer for Elvis Gashi. Uh, I run Vision Quest Muay Thai out of Westchester Fight Club. I feel more confident and I train hard, and that's why I'm undefeated, I train really hard. I've never seen somebody that likes to fight as much as Elvis does. Uh, you know, uh, people use the term game bread, you know, for fighting dogs. He is, he is game bread as you've ever seen. Uh, the, the kids, he's the American dream. Like there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's the American dream. You look where he comes from. You look what he did to be here. You know what I mean? I mean, he went, he went five years and couldn't see his family. Couldn't leave the country all because he had this dream. No, for five years, then I have papers, keep waiting to get my papers. Then I lost my brother, my little brother, I couldn't go back till I got my papers. My brother passed away, I got my papers after 10 days, after he passed away. That, that's, that's the true American dream right there. You know, the kid came here, you know, he, he would send me pictures like, you know, working in the boiler room of buildings, you know, big ass pipes like this, cranking, cranking wrenches, hot, New York City boiler rooms, you know what I mean? And he'd send me pictures of, of a, of a t-shirt that he wrung out that's a puddle on the floor and that was his third t-shirt of the day, you know? Do all that and then come to the gym and train for two hours, you know? Get up, get up at, at 4.30 in the morning, go an hour to an hour and a half on the train to get to the far end of Brooklyn to do a job like that, just to come all the way back after, after a 10 hour day, maybe have enough time to get changed to get to the gym, maybe just go to the gym with his bag over his shoulder and then go home and go to sleep, you know, just to do it all again, all in the pursuit of that. That's the American dream. Work your ass off, get somewhere.